for today's reading guys but first let me just say um welcome back get settled into the space that i have created for today's interaction um i do want to bring up a few things first thing is we are currently um in going through experiencing a mercury retrograde um started in january 30th to february 29th and what this mercury retrograde um the energy and its effects usually um targets communication so do keep in mind that right now um commu communication between you uh, you and yourself you and others um like any contracts or you know like anything that has to do with communicating talking speaking writing any form of communication or agreement to anything um can be a little bit distorted can be a little bit confusing frustrating a little bit like everything kind of not everything but you know a few things here and there will kind of like fuck up for example like you know like how that other day in my other video where like my phone glitched and stopped recording and then um my computer the music turned off and everything so you know little things like that here and there that require you to have patience and not be completely frustrated or you know thrown off balance because of these energies um and it's not to blame the planet or to hate that this is happening because you know just like everything there's a good side and there's a bad side so it's up to you to use your, your intuition and your discernment here and to practice patience to practice you know allowing to practice not being in control not wanting to control everything or every situation in your life and in, in any aspect of your life really and um this reading feels like it's going to be very serious i actually have like six decks out right now i <laughs> The Lover's Oracle, Want to Clarify, The Only Moria, my original, my best friend here. And then these ones, Subconscious Mind. Because today's reading is called, um, what are you subconsciously hiding from yourself? Um, you know, again, mental health awareness. I want to bring that, I want to keep that going. So, yes, um, a lot of things going on right now. But um, earlier I was feeling these energies of like something is um something is forming in behind the scenes so something is um something in this energy and in, in, in the collective energy just in the world in general feels like it feels like something is coming something big is coming and that may be different for a lot of you maybe a lot of you are planning a huge trip or maybe a lot of you guys are getting married or maybe a lot of you guys are pregnant and are expecting a baby in a few months but something big is coming and i can feel it i can feel that energy of like not anticipation but that energy of knowing that and feeling that something is coming you feel you, you're feeling these energies of like you know like you're recognizing these energies as if like you've as if your soul always known like this is a time for this and your soul is like preparing for something it just feels like that to me so apply it to how it's resonating for you but this energy here is very potent and i feel that a lot is going to come through um with our focus being on what are you subconsciously hiding from yourself i'm looking at my notebook here um um, these are the cards that we're going to be using to um, when it when it comes to like subconscious, mental, any like um, conscious, any like mind energy. This just, 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 just gives me like subconscious energy. So that's what we're going to be using these cards for. So and these are going to be like overall general energy. So let's go ahead and start with the overall general energies. Um, let's see what is going on with the collective at this moment in time. So I show for these cards, I connect to my higher self with intention and power. I work with my higher self all the time in every reading. It's just like, it's like I, our, the, our, my connection with my higher self has strengthened since I began to do this more often. And today, right now, I feel like there's something that is going to come through that is going to be like, eye-opening for a lot of you even for myself <laughs> so it's like prepare sit down you know make sure that this is a good time for you to hear this message um okay right hmm. i wonder what that meant okay higher self 
What is the collective subconsciously hiding from themselves at this moment in time? What is, subscon- what is subconsciously sitting around in the minds of the collective, in the minds of us? What are we not seeing at this moment in time? What needs our awareness? What needs to be brought to our awareness that we are hiding from ourselves subconsciously? Thank you. And then we have a flipper somewhere in here. Wow, I don't know where it went, but okay. I seen the three of swords, and that usually represents heartbreak. Um, or just pain in the heart, uh, like sorrow, feeling sadness over something, or feeling like your heart is blocked from moving forward, feeling stuck on something. So that could be the energy of somebody here. Um, but it's not the main focus. The main focus here has to do with the past. This is time for reflection. I can see that very clearly. This is the time for reflection. Um, reflecting on past events with people, with uh, jobs, with... Um, I'm hearing this is a time for you to reflect on where you want to go and to really consider not overthink or second guess yourself or doubt yourself or the decisions that you've already taken rather, but to really reflect on these decisions and check check one last time is this really where i want to go like this has really served me this is really really in alignment and like like i said not not to second guess yourself or to create you know confusion within you but just to like um confirm with your own self that what you're doing right now is what you had planned for yourself since the beginning of the year basically like you know kind of like a reality check type like okay what's going on where am i right now is this who i said i wanted to be is this where i see myself going in five years you know like like reality check how are you doing right now is this where you want to go are you making progress are you are, are you staying stagnant you know being honest with yourself and being able to be having the capacity to reflect on your own actions your own progressions and your own and um being honest with yourself in matters of um seeing uh like where you're going and which direction your actions are taking you now because they're both in reverse i'm seeing that that's what we're not doing right um we might be focusing too much on what's not working out for us at this moment in time which is making us doubt ourselves which is making us second guess our position here our place here on earth making us really um think like twice whether this is gonna work out for us whatever that you're dealing with here i'm really seeing here like um it just it feels like you're like you're holding back i feel like you're uh hold on let me clarify can you clarify the queen of swords in reverse please higher self mm, we have the tower in reverse Okay, so with this, what I'm getting here is that if this is not new, this is not anything new that you don't already know about or nothing that you haven't yet experienced. Like this is not, this is giving me the energy of like, this is not like a new, this is, um, this is not anything new that is coming into your life that you're going to have to deal with. That's going to create more problems for you. Um, with this, I was going to burp, <laughs> with this, um, energy from mercury and retrograde is doing for you at this time is is allowing you to reflect on what has already happened right um i'm here I'm, I'm feeling here that you're kind of like worried like you were worried or you're feeling like um the sense of like anxiety because you're expecting or you you feel like what is coming is going to be added like it's going to be adding to that already stress or that already anxiety that you're already feeling within you but this energy here is saying that nothing that you don't already know is not it's not going to come in right now that this is a time for you to deal and handle with what you're doing with what you're already dealing with um kind of like the universe with this mercury retrograde you know it's playing out different for everybody but like kind of like um and we have the lovers and at the bottom of the deck in reverse so yeah like i said members uh, some of you were feeling like heartbreak or like uh feeling pain in your heart in regards to something so yeah i feel here that like with this it just um there's two there's two energies that i'm feeling so either you feel that you don't want change to happen right now because things in your situation do feel a little bit gloomy right it's like 
it's kind of already a little bit chaotic right now i'm not to say like your life is horrible or anything like that but it does feel like there's a lot going on for you right now like you're overflowed with um with things to uh pay attention to and to kind of like clear out for yourself um and you're feeling a little bit like you're you're anxious of what's to come because you don't want it to be added or you don't want it to be he another heavy thing that you have to deal with and um well, the other energy that I'm getting here is, you know, you're wanting to jump into being in a relationship. You're really craving to be uh, with someone. You want to be in a relationship, but you're not thinking it through as to... It's like you you want to be in a relationship because of the idea of being with someone. Like, you know, holding hands and, and going to take uh, walks in the park. And, you know, and I just saw 11-11 on my thing. So going to take walks in the park and taking uh fun car rides and road trips and stuff with your boyfriend or with your girlfriend but you're not really considering how it's not just that right yeah of course there's gonna be fun times when you get into relationships but it's not just that guys it's also you know you know wh whatever that your person is dealing with you know whether it be like any kind of condition whether it be like uh anxiety or any of that if they are dealing with any of that then you're also going to meet that side of the person it's not just the holding hands and taking road trips right so it's a lot to consider before you jump into a relationship like that it's a serious thing it's you're choosing your partners unless i'm feeling here like there's this energy of like just wanting to have a good time and if that's your intention if that's what you're looking for it, honestly you're like you're wasting your time with that because you know I don't know. I, to me, it just feels like it's a waste of time because why would you want to join and connect with people for just minimal amount of time? You know what I'm saying? Unless, unless it's like divinely guided and you guys are meant to learn lessons from each other, you know, within your actions and stuff, within your connection, you guys are meant to grow together. You guys signed up to, to grow and to learn together at a soul level. Then yes, I understand. But if it's just because you're looking around to, ha to fuck around with somebody or just because you want to have fun or whatever, you, you're, like you're in this player energy, you're with this, uh, like subconsciously, what you're not, yeah, what you're subconsciously hiding from yourself is that like, this is not really what you want, right? But this is kind of like the closest that you can get to being in a relationship for, or like the quickest or the easiest way. I see like, like you think you, this, this is how I'm thinking that you feel. No, this is how I feel you're thinking. It's like, you're like, yeah, but like, you know, well, I want to be in a relationship, but for right now, this is what I have. So this is what I'm going to, this is what I'm going to take, right? Like you're settling, like you're, like you're settling for just the quick and the easy, the, the, what's, what's, what's coming, right? Whoever pays attention to you, you're like, mm, oh, well, you know, it's like, like, like you don't need that really. You really don't need that. I mean, it's up to you. You have your own self-will and you can make your own decisions. You're a pretty grown person. But is that really what you want? And this is what this uh, Mercury and retrograde energy is doing. It's really like bringing to your awareness like those little mental subconscious aspects, right? Right now when I'm focusing on this, it's kind of like what it's doing. It's bringing those um, subconscious aspects to your awareness so that you can like double check. Hmm, is this really me? Is this really still me? Is this really the way i think still this is really the way i feel about this situation however this is playing for you in your reality um but you have a choice you always have a choice remember you always have a choice um what else is going on right now we have here the knight of wands can i have one more please thank you and then we have the two of wands in reverse so we have the knight of wands and then we have the two of wands so let me quickly pick up on this energy give me one second right i'm just feeling like either somebody from your past is gonna come back to you okay this feels like some either it's like somebody from your past might want to make their way back into your reality for some reason i feel here like 
this is for somebody like somebody like you were in a relationship and you, you guys kind of had to separate right and so this person tried this person tried to move on this person tried to find someone else this person tried to do everything that they wanted to do with you with another person but it, it didn't fulfill them it's like they have so much to give but they don't know it just it just feels like it just feels like something from the past is meant to come into your life again but it's up to you to use your discernment and your intuition to whether you want to allow this again you know at one point this is what you really really wanted at one point this is what you what drove you right what motivated you what inspired you but some time has gone by you've grown you've experienced different things you've thought for yourself you know you've grown as a person you have began different hobbies it's like you've changed so much and so when this comes back around in your life how do you feel about it now right be honest don't just go with the well this is what i want to do at one point so i'm gonna just take it you know it's like really sit there and think to yourself is this really worth your time is this really what you want right now is this is this really serving you to who you want to be now and and who you see who you see yourself being in in the upcoming days right in the upcoming moments it's really like really wanting to like we have the ten of swords here in reverse so like this is not yeah like usually this card means surrendering like give up and surrender but i just heard from my higher self that this is not the time to surrender and this is not the time to give up on like it, whatever comes just be like oh, okay whatever you know like no like this is for you to really take the time to reflect and think okay do i really need this do i really want this right okay we're gonna move on to the subconscious so what is going on subconsciously because this is the energies that you're already pretty much aware of general right general energies but what is going on subconsciously with the collective high self what is going on subconsciously thank you we have here the four of pentacles four of pentacles so subconsciously i'm feeling i heard lining up um i heard like thoughts are lining up um thoughts are beginning to formulate energy within you in regards to a certain situation so um you have been having thoughts ideas or or like you've been having visions or like you've been thinking of ways and and things that you want to no 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 they're saying no not that like you've been having ideas as in regards to like hold on can you clarify the four of pentacles please higher self thank you we have here the the hanged woman in reverse and then we have the eight of cups in a bright position okay yeah so there's definitely you have been thinking of many ways to be different i can see here that subconsciously you have been wanting to create a new version of yourself you've been wanting to birth maybe a lot of you have actually been wanting to have a baby right subconsciously you want to bring life to this planet you want to you want to um you want to have a baby you want to know what that feels like you want to be a mother but you're I can see here like subconsciously you have your mindset to something it's like you like these ideas that you've had you're keeping them safe in a glass box right like these are idea these are idea these ideas are in the middle of your subconscious mind and it's like these ideas are what are creating your reality because they're so engraved subconsciously and so i'm seeing here that there's a need for you to uh s perceive this differently to really think like it's really all just coming back to really how is this really what you want right like really is this truly what you want and analyze okay and if your answer is yes this is how i feel this is what i want no doubt about it then why your next question should be why do i want this this bad right right why do i want this and how will this and if i do want this then how can i get that and how can i and how can i 
uh, make that fit into my now current reality and if your answer is oh well I don't have space for that right now or I really don't have you know I can't really do that right now then it's just an idea that you're that you, that's stuck with you that you think you need to do right you think you need to move forward with this but if it's not currently if it's not currently you know meant to be in your life at this time then you should focus on what you can do what you can remove or what you can add in order to bring that in or call that into your life at this time so basically i can see subconsciously here that you have your mindset to something like you have your idea to something I mean, this could be like a path this could be a way right I do see here that you're thinking because you have a lot of options. There's a lot of things to do on this planet. There's a million trillion infinite things to choose to partake in, whether it be bad, good, annoying, whatever, right? There's a lot of ways to act, a lot of ways to be, a lot of ways to perceive oneself. Um, and there's a lot of ideas of who we think we are, of who we who we want to be or who we um who we perceive ourselves to be like, right? What we think others see us like. But in reality, everybody has a different per a, a different perception of you. Everybody sees you different, right? Everybody thinks different from you. And everybody has a different idea of you in their mind. So you exist in millions and millions of ways to those who view you. Um, so there is not really one way that you are or you know even your own idea of who you think you are it's not who your mom thinks you are and you guys are like you know like super like she like that's your mother that's your parent you know this is your guardian for for whatever for this case so it's like even they have their own perception of you even you have your own perception of you so your true essence your 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 soul essence is within your heart right so where is this going higher self <laughs> hold on let me see i need another one okay we'll take this one two of ones yeah so I, i'm feeling here that like at this time you're really like you're considering like and these energies are pretty similar there's like a lot of black blue and orange so this definitely feels subconscious like subconscious energy and at this at this moment in time for you what you're experiencing it feels like it feels like you're um like you like you fall into a place in where it's like not i wouldn't say second guessing or like you're doubting but you're really questioning your existence right like um it doesn't feel like 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 a like a chaotic uh, existential crisis where you're like crying because you feel like you don't belong here you don't it doesn't feel like you feel like you're alienated it feels like you're very grounded in who you have been and you're very grounded here like you have things going for yourself like you're not lost in the world you're aware that you have a place here but for some reason it's it's like you're you're in search of and you you want something different you're in search of a new path it's like it's like up to here up to this moment your life has fulfilled you right it's like yeah but i feel like that has ended and now you want to find something different you want to find something brighter for yourself to indulge in you want to experience a new a new way of life and so your mind and your energy has been dedicated to searching for new ways to bring that about into your reality right now and 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 like you're it's just kind of like it has just been in your mind it has just been laying there and i don't see that there has been any action taken now you might have taken any action but for the majority of this this is this energy is formulating within your mind and so you might be feeling it because this is subconscious so this means that you're not seven of pentacles seven of pentacles in regular tarot usually represents a guy who's like working really hard um yeah i believe that that's the card that's like working really hard and so here i can see definitely that you've been connecting to your to your emotions the way that you feel because this is to, because <laughs> this is subconscious energy so this is building this is energy that is formulating within your subconscious within the most deepest deepest parts of your mind of your consciousness and it's formulating right it's becoming more stronger and more stronger 
as you as the more that you become to be the more that you feel it the more that you think about it the more that it, it formulates and, and and cultivates this energy within your subconscious mind so it's not so much more it's not so much subconscious anymore because you are aware of it right you're beginning to come to this energy you're beginning you're beginning to see how this energy is playing out in your reality and so right now i can see that you're like okay well if i want to do something different from if I want to be different and if I feel like I want to change, then how can I go about this? What ways can I do this? We have the world here, the world card in reverse. And this card usually represents like the ending of a cycle, um, moving forward to something. But I feel here that, I feel here that there's, I don't know, it's like, it's like, it's like for some of you, there's still some growth. There's still something, one thing here. It feels like there's still one thing left for you to experience in this, in this reality, in this timeline. And so before you move forward, it's like one small thing you need to kind of realize or become aware of, and then you can shift your reality. You can shift, or like your your reality will naturally shift and 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 um into a different experience naturally, organically. But there's still one thing here. It's like it's like the ending of a cycle. It's like it's like it's like right here it's like right there i don't know how to explain it it's like it feels like you're right there like something is coming something is ending there's change going on you feel that something something like that is growing right in your subconscious mind there is this tree that is growing that is bringing fruits and it's just giving you a new perspective a new you're coming into this new energy in which you want to perceive yourself in an expanded way an expanded version and this is really pushing you to search for different ways of of going about your current lifestyle like you're really feeling inspired to change and i don't see that i see that you have just kind of been taking actions on your own i don't see that you want to interfere with this energy like you're not judging it you're not questioning it you're kind of just going with the flow and allowing this energy to demonstrate to you which path you want to take and what I'm seeing here as well is that you're not telling anyone about this either because you really want to take this for yourself. It's like you really want to experience this for your own self and you really want to take matters into your own hands when it comes to this. Because I feel here that for so long, many people have been telling you who you are, right? You're tired of hearing from people who you are and who where you should go and what works best for you and what they recommend for you and all that. But for right now, what I'm feeling strongly is that you want to take charge of your own reality, right? Like you want to make this change for yourself. You want to be that person that you've always seen yourself be in your mind in your heart it's like you don't want to waste any more time and so you're you're really taking the time to to let this tree grow within your subconscious and bear the most delicious fruits so that you can enjoy them later like you're really allowing this energy to guide you and this could also be like you're coming becoming aware of your high self right you're spiritually awakening and you're realizing that there's always been that divine guidance whispering in your ear as to what step to take next and so now you're like no longer fighting that and i really feel that you're you've been letting god guide you and like you really you letting go like letting god right it really feels like you've been in this like you found this this new way of perception and this new way of perception has really has really taken you out of a dark place in which you didn't see any more growth i can see here that you've reached the point maybe this could be like in your job or in your career that you found that something is no longer serving you something is no longer um pleasing you or or, or giving you the motivation that it once did and you're truly 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 feeling inspired to seek of a different way of going about this energy here let me see um can i get one more card please to describe this energy further thank you we have the sun yes we have the sun here the sun represents you know like good energy positive high vibrational energies you know just being fulfilled you know blissful day a good day at the beach with your with your dog just you know observing the sun just happiness just not worrying about anything and wanting and you know just not even wanting or needing anything you're fulfilled you know you're just kind of like you're just like your heart is at peace and 
this energy this energy here is a really good omen to see in this reading because you are in, you are seeking that right your heart is seeking your subconscious mind is formulating this energy within you and it's coming to your awareness now you're beginning to feel that change within you and this change is gonna reflect into your external reality once it's done creating once it's done forming within your heart and the more that you feed this tree the more that you water this energy the more that it's going to grow and the more that you're going to embody this version of yourself you're birthing it this new version of yourself subcon it's starting subconsciously it's birthing there and the more the more that you focus on that which you feel intuitively right you because only you know what you feel and what you think and what you see in your head and your thoughts and your heart so the way that this is coming about you're you're not letting this go and you're you're choosing to yeah you're this is the path you're choosing you're moving into living the life that you choose and it, it's like it's like no matter what people say no matter how much the universe tests you to see whether how you know sending people your way to trigger you to to really overthink or to second guess yourself like is this really what you want is this really what you want you know what you want and you know what you're looking for so you know if you're following that that emotion in your heart that is guiding you that is taking you to this next phase in your life and this feels really cool because it feels like you're not letting anything stop you like you're willing to go all in for this this feels like like i feel like like um alice in wonderland like you're like you found this super interesting place within you and like you're so inspired by this energy like you don't want to let this go it's driving you it's this it's this new life force within you that is accumulating within your subconscious mind and it's feeding you and it's feeding you in a good progressive way it's inspiring you to continue it's inspiring you to change it's inspiring you to to just make changes in your life that you've been wanting to make for a really long time like this is your peak like you're reaching your peak moment in which you completely shift your reality into like the first version of that it's always been and it's only going to get better from there it's only going to get better from there like this is a, like this is a huge breakthrough like that we're as a collective that we're reaching um subconsciously and but it's starting subconsciously and the more that you become aware of this energy remember guys because tarot brings only brings awareness to the energies that already exist within us right but around us within our auric field and so these energies are there and a lot of you have become aware of that and like you're choosing to move forward with this energy here what else hurts self? what else is going on subconsciously If nothing comes up from this last shuffle, I'm moving on to Beyond Lemuria because they told me that one next and nothing came out. So, okay, I'm gonna move on to these here. It's not a card, it's just a little paper. Gonna leave the book out. Oh my god, the first card here, guys. I'm not kidding. It says life force energy. Didn't I just mention that earlier? And it's I'm not doing this to say like, see, I told you so. No, it's because it's like, it's really here. This is an energy that is actually happening. It's a confirmation for all of us here from the divine that these energies are real. Hey, let me see. This is number 34. Uh, it reduces down to number seven if you, um, with numerology. So let's see. Okay. It says energy mana aina aina the rainbow spectrum bright with bright white light reiki celebrating life god force optimal health being vibrantly alive thriving nature conscious consumption eden the body as a temple bringing earth into balance cell rejuvenation the love of the land what happens when we seek to maximize the life force energy in everything we do toward the completion of this oracle deck? Okay, wait, hold on. Mm, let's see. I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to read, like, the meaning of the card. Okay. It's the time for celebration. Revel in the bliss of being alive. 
This is an incredibly healing card packed with luminous life force energy for optimal health and healing. It reminds you to seek joy and upliftment in everything you do as much as is possible. Consider the fruits you eat, the environments you spend your time in, the people in your life, and even the things you wear. Increase your awareness of their journey, how they came to be in your world, and their energetic resonance. Are they alive and vibrant? You may also be inspired to work with healing energy such as Reiki or with the land, perhaps to grow vegetables. You are encouraged to joy joyously make your life a piece of Eden. As a result, you will shine with vitality. So yes, this is exactly what we were talking about, guys. When um when it came to like, you guys are feeling this huge inspiration coming from your heart, coming from your soul. You guys are choosing to follow this, right? You guys are choosing to feed into that life force energy, this new life force energy forming and cultivating within your subconscious. That is that is um the more the more that it grows, that more that it transforms you into this new vibrant energy like i just feel like i just feel like oh, i just feel so refreshing okay let's see what else higher self what else is going on with the collective right now what subconscious changes are going on currently in the collective mind ah! that mm, it has to do with balance and it has to do with like i feel here okay so maybe because it's uh, it's like because everything here has a meaning remember like the cards everything here has a meaning and the way that it almost came out of my hands but i catched it it's it's it, it signifies to me um control right what else is going on within the subconscious mind of the collective and that happens so it's control so a, a lot of you might be resisting this new energy because you're afraid that you will now no longer be that one person that you once used to be right that you're no longer going to be accepted in the environment that you're currently in because you're going to be different you're not no you're, you feel like you're no you're no longer going to be a piece of this right and, and that makes you kind of scared or that makes you kind of sad you don't want to leave this in the past because this this is very dear to you this is very lovely to you and you don't want to you don't want to just like pretend like this this is not like this is no longer part of your life and it doesn't have to it, it's thank you higher self this is a matter of your perspective my higher self just said that for spirit guides also said that this is a matter of how you uh perceive the situation to be because it, it's not that it's not that you don't have a it's not that you're gonna be leaving anything in the past or it's not that you're gonna you know that you're you're like you're not being grateful if you move forward with the, with the new way of perceiving or a new way of being or a new lifestyle it's not that you're not it's not that you're being selfish or that you're not you're not appreciative of what you have right now rather it just means that you are growing right you're expanding and and that means you outgrow certain things in your certain aspects in your reality certain certain ways of thinking you outgrow certain situations in your life and you change right and so when you change and when you grow you do leave things behind you do move forward without certain people without certain um uh, belonging certain items right so it's like but it's okay and that's a beauty because at one point that that's exactly what you needed and that served this purpose for you so instead of perceiving it like you need to bring everything with you if you move forward be more allowing that you know be more allowing and try not to fight this growth for you because this has a huge potential to completely shift your life for the betterment it's a process guys and i know it's easier said than done because change is change can be very uncomfortable if you're not open to the possibility that it doesn't have to be you know completely scary or completely bad or completely heavy or that it has to be a scary situation it's just a matter again my higher self is bringing its perception it's the way that you perceive with the hang woman here you know this what it means in the hang when it's in tarot when it's like the hangman he hangs himself upside down 360 degrees 
upside down, you know, from being standing upright to being completely in reverse. He hangs himself from a tree so that he can gain a new perspective. So it's all in the way that you perceive this, but it's not that you can just say, it's not just to say like, oh yeah, no, it feels really scary to change, but it's just my perspective. It's just my perspective. And just kind of like say that to, to cover up for the fact that it's your perspective. There's no point in that. And instead, when you catch it, when you catch yourself having that, you know, perspective of like, when you catch yourself in any way perceiving any situation, try to observe the perception or the way that you feel towards this, and try to analyze why. Right? There's always, always, always try to go deeper within you. Try to understand yourself deeper. And so, if you feel that there's a resistance, there's a reason to why you feel there's a resistance. There's a risk. There's a reason to why you are afraid of this upcoming change. This change that you're feeling within yourself. And it's a matter of you to reflect. Remember, with the with this Mercury retrograde energy, it's not. It's not that. Um, to second guess yourself or to doubt yourself but rather you're being asked to reflect and to to really go deeper and analyze as to why this why you're feeling this way why this is happening um not to you but for you right why these energies are all of a sudden coming to your awareness and what do they mean what message are they trying to convey for you what are what is the meaning of this to you right now and how can this help you shift how can this help you grow how can you expand from this knowledge even if it hurts even if it's scary what kind of what kind of purpose is this wanting to bring for you right if it hurts this much can you imagine how much is going to heal for you right because it's everything that happens in in for, in this world it's it's it has two sides the dark and the light right so if it's really really heavy it's going to be balanced out with really 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 light right so it, it's like it's like no matter what you experience if it hurts now if it, if it feels scary if it feels filled with anxiety filled with tension once it passes once you allow it to ease through you once you just kind of like welcome it in and let it happen you're gonna adopt right like everything and anything else so it's just a matter of you perceiving it with different eyes but this is this is something you have to do babe and this is something you have to do for your own understanding don't just do it too because you know because you hear people say it's just the way you're perceiving it and just go with whenever you whenever you're facing the situation just cover it up with yeah it's just my way of perceiving it and go on with your day because that does nothing but just kind of shut it off right you're just cutting it off then and when it comes back to you again you're gonna feel the same way because you haven't really processed it you haven't really broken it down into pieces and understood as to why and how you can help yourself perceive it different so every time or any time you are presented with this energy or in this situation make sure that you give yourself the space to analyze this and to break it down into tiny 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 pieces by asking yourself honest and deep questions to truly want to understand yourself in a better way to truly want to help yourself see things different because how are you going to see things different if you don't take the time to break it down and to see it different right the only way to see things different is to see things different and so um but you want you need you want to make sure that you allow yourself and that you hold the space for yourself to do that what else higher self what else is going on the subconscious mind the collective energy here thank you can i actually have one please okay give me too many thank you and this one says our ancient future um there's something i want to say about this this kind of reminds me of like the energy of like your higher self your spirit guides your own past life um experience because we have water here as well we have overflow remember how it was like you're overflowed with all these emotions it's like yeah but it's like it, you could either see it like i'm overwhelmed or i'm overflowed with blessings right i'm overflowed with many options many many decisions it's like i have options i'm not closed down to only one way of seeing it or you can be like there's so much going on i'm so stressed out i'm so overwhelmed oh my god right and you can like you can either let it empower you or you can let it like 
ruin you and make things heavy for you. So really, it's just a matter of the way that you choose to see things and the way that you choose to perceive your situation. Again, perception is being really, really highlighted here in this reading that perception is really important for you as well as discernment. Discernment is really important for you. And um, discernment is, you know, knowing how to take decisions for yourself and knowing that those decisions and trusting your decisions knowing that the decisions that you make are going to serve you and not harm you so i'm being called to this um this deck here let's see nope not this one that one it's this one here this is a clarifying deck i call it the clarifying deck because it has words on it you see it's like words like descriptions so like it can clarify energy so let's see what wants to come through with this here thank you so we have two cards here and we have the hanged man guys i'm not kidding we have the hangman in reverse and i brought that up earlier and then we also have here the hanged woman so we have this energy here twice and they're both the hanged woman is an upright position a new perception a new way of perceiving and then we have the hangman in reverse the hangman in reverse means you are preoccupied with the internal battle inability to make a sense of problems due to lack of insight pressure from society and others is overwhelming do not rely on logical solutions the best solution may be unorthodox your effort may be wasted on a project may present a favorable legal decision i don't really understand that i don't really get it but then we also have here that be decisive confusion will be your greatest enemy you give in to the demands of others you let others make decisions for you that are not in your best interest because you are afraid to challenge their authority you will live th with the regret of this action for a long time cover all the bases and give yourself several options okay this is the seven of wands in reverse and we have the hangman in reverse as well so yeah so it's like for those of you who are feeling that you know you have you're afraid to move forward because of you know you're, you feel like you won't like you're not gonna be um like you're not gonna be like you're gonna leave things behind or like that it's not fair that you're moving forward and that others are staying in the past you feel that it's selfish to to be different you feel that it's selfish to think different when for so long you know these people have had your back and they've they've um they've supported you and helped you get to where you're at now but now you're changing and you're afraid that you know that that's not going to be taken lightly from them because you know they've helped you i don't know why i'm saying this but they've helped you to get to where you're at now and now you want to pursue a different path um and this this can go both ways it's either are you sure that you want to perceive another path and that you're not just you know feeling some kind of way towards this situation here towards this towards towards your position in which you are now is it getting heavy and you're having second thoughts about whether you can do this whether they whether you're equipped for this situation um or or is it because you truly feel in your heart that this is not for you and that you need to find that that fulfills your soul so is it because you're feeling you know you're having emotions of of um of of regret or of of self-doubt are you doubting your progress are you doubting your ability to to proceed with this or do you truly in your heart feel that this is not for you and that you need to find that which fulfills your soul um i know i repeated myself twice but i just felt like i had to so yeah that is what's going on here what else is going on high self we have strength in reverse and this is saying here you are tempted to abuse power and take immoral actions you are your own worst enemy according to the tarot card um you have a weak character and pessimistic attitude lack of courage <laughs> lack of courage causes lost opportunities personality flaws cause disaster in both love and business angry outburst and lost composure comp compromises your reputation beware of selfish beware of a selfish woman 
so yeah this is the energy of you feeling like um right what i just said about like do you truly feel that you know be strong in your decisions be strong with your intuition be strong with your inner knowing right i feel also fear here fear here so maybe a lot of you guys also have a lot of fear i also feel here that this has to do with um those people that are surrounding you i'm hearing mother because i said be be aware of a selfish woman so a mother right maybe your mother this is very specific for somebody but maybe your mother doesn't want you to move out maybe your mother doesn't want you to start this business because that means that you will eventually find your own way move out of the house no longer be there with your mother and your mother doesn't want you to leave because she's gonna miss you dearly and it doesn't mean get annoyed with your mom or be irritated that she's acting this way but just try to understand her situation right as a mom you know she took care of you for so long or whoever it doesn't even have to be a mom it could be like an auntie or like a, a very close guardian that took care of you for so long right protected you fed you watched over you guided your every path and now all of a sudden you're hitting you're hitting them with i want to take charge of my own life i want to make my own decisions i want to do this i want to do that it's like whoa 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 <laughs> you know it's like why all of a sudden are you choosing to be yourself and why all of a sudden are you choosing to make decisions for yourself and i've had this covered for you all along right but it's just because you're growing into your true self you're growing into this new high vibrant being that just wants to experience life in your own way and i think that's very very beautiful i i i'm 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 all in for this for you because i feel this energy as well for myself and I, the, the mother thing is not my situation but it this it's it's coming up here like it really is a situation for somebody here and it's just a matter of you being understanding i get with this how with this um angry outburst with the angry outburst and lost composure compromises reputation i can see here that maybe you've been like flashing out when this when this conversation comes about or when it comes to you like um telling them like about your plans or something like that they kind of say well this 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 i think you shouldn't because this 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 maybe that's not gonna get you any money that's not that's not the way people do it that's not the way society thinks that you should do it blah 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 they give you their point of view they put f their fears into they project their fears and the way that they think the way that they see that this is going to play out for you in your in your life and so it, it kind of just makes you like sit there like well shit like these are my guide these are these have been my guidance for a really long time these people here have been guiding my life my ways right for so long and so it's like all of a sudden now i'm having to think about like you know they're telling me that my the way that i feel is is wrong and they're saying that i should do th things this way instead so how can i possibly trust myself if my my backbone here is saying that they see something different for me right and this is when intuition comes in this is when perception comes in this is when self-love comes in this is when you need to be dedicated to yourself and know your own truth know yourself deeply enough to know that what your heart is feeling is true for you and it's not it doesn't have to be true for everyone else right it doesn't have to be true for your whole entire family for you to accept it and move forward with it right for example me a tarot i have to come to my car to read tarot because it doesn't it, it, it's not really comfortable for my parents to experience this like i like for me right it's okay and i understand we're two different people but i find my own way to still allow my and hold that space for myself to partake in this because this is i love to do this i love I, with my entire heart i love to do this I, I i love this so much so it's like i found a way to you know even if it's in the back of my car i found a way to still be able to provide in this way in this manner and hold that space for myself because i know in my heart that this is my truth i could have easily been like yeah you're right you know tarot is kind of weird eh, whatever and just like sell my decks and move on with my life and never pay attention to this but no because this is what called me this is what my heart says this is a big part of me this is a big part of my transformation a big part of my healing and i'm not willing to let this go for anything you know and i was not it was understanding it took a lot of communicating it took a lot of um you know constructive um 
persuasion, like, you know, wanting, speaking up about it, not giving up on it, bringing up my point of view, bringing up the way I feel about it, bringing up the fact that I'm also a human being, that I also have the right to like stuff, even if it's not, even if it's different from, you know, what they're used to. I'm a human being of my own. I, I'm, for, I'm forming and transforming into this woman that I'm, that I'm being, right? I can't blame myself for liking tarot and I'm not going to hide that from myself. I'm not going to hide my spirituality and the fact that I, you know, my closest friends are spirits. So it's like, that's who I am. I'm, and I'm owning that shit, right? It's who I am. And why would I suppress that any longer? Same with you, babe. If you feel you want to make this difference, if you feel you want to take this career, this new path, you want to go live off grid, it's it just like you're, you're wanting to just, you're, you're feeling this transformation burning within your heart. And you're being really called to do this. <sighs> Do it, right? Dig into it. Do research. Find out more. Find out ways. Feed into this energy that is feeding you. What else? Higher self. Okay, we're going to move on to the Lover's Oracle deck. I have a feeling it's going to say something about, like, your heart knows the way. To confirm that, you know, your heart does know your way. Listen to your heart. Listen to the way that you <laughs> If you can do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. <laughs> See, that's intuition, guys. That's intuition right there. Okay. And you need to trust your intuition. Trust that what you're hearing in your head, right? But also use your discernment because you don't want to believe every thought. You need to be able to tell the difference between your intuition and your thoughts. Because your intuition is a whisper you feel in your heart. You feel it here in this area. Your thoughts come from this up area, right? So when you drop into your heart space, you're connecting with your intuition. What else is going on? That's why we have here the heart-shaped cards so that we can hear what your intuition has been wanting to say. Your intuition has been wanting to say that if you can do anything, what would it be, right? You're wanting to change. You're wanting to find this new path for yourself. So if you can do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul okay what else for yourself thank you we have here the past is now behind you right that comes when that that's uh that's reaffirming the the whole whether you feel like you know that it's selfish to move forward without without certain people without certain things with like you know you have to stay because at one point this was your life this was what served you the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you a new path is now available to you follow it with faith wow guys honestly wow i can't believe that what else higher self you're really being encouraged to take this new path for yourself. Truly being encouraged to take this new path. To trust yourself. To trust in your abilities. To make a change for your life. To trust that you have the strength. That you have the knowledge. You have the wisdom to move forward with integrity. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Guys! <laughs> wow and then we have here a message for you i am thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you this is your higher self saying this to you that yes they they are guiding your thoughts the, the message is completely different but this is the way i'm picking up ener energetically is that your higher self your your intuition However that you refer to your, your gut feeling is, 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 is guiding your thoughts at every moment, right? It's, it's filling you with light. It's filling you with inspiration. So those, those ideas that you're having, those visions that you're getting are no for no reason. Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. And it doesn't mean, it, it, it could mean like, you know, maybe like um, sexual energy. Maybe you have been having fun, you know. 
but it also means that the passion that is building within your heart that passion that is building up within your subconscious mind that is that is feeding you that is motivating that is inspiring you is there and this is a confirmation that this is there that the a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you that this it's surrounding your auric field that you are in fact experiencing these energies at this moment in time and that you should use these energies to your advantage to progress to expand along with them and to end this video we have the last card here and it says only time will tell only time will tell what else higher self what else higher self thank you and this one says you cannot you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed so that will close out today's reading guys i truly truly hope that this message reaches you in a moment in which you are able to receive fully i'm so very thankful to be in this position of service to you guys i love to give to my people i love i love to do this with so much i like i can't even express how much i love to do this so yeah thank you so much guys for um watching this video if you made it this far into this video um i really really appreciate you and i'll see you in my next one